Hey, it's TC Josie, and in this video, I'd like to talk a little bit about smart blocks within Open to Close. So smart blocks have been one of the big things that people just, it's, it's hard to kind of understand what it is. Um, but put simply, it's a merge field with conditions. So just like this here, the seller agent's full name is a merge field. And this is just going to take whatever seller agent is in my transaction and plug their full name into here. We all know merge fields. But smart blocks are merge fields that have conditions on them. So if I look at this smart block that I have here, this is the uh, introduction to the lender when I'm on the seller side. So this smart block here says, please send me a copy of the buyer's pre-approval letter at your convenience. I don't want this to show if it's a cash deal. I don't want this to show um, if I already have the pre-approval letter. So I'm going to condition this merge field just that way. So I have here that if the file role pre-approval, pre-qual or pre-approval, is missing in the property and if the field funding type is equal to financing and not cash show this line in my email template when it launches same with this one this is an easier one and this one says please let me know when the appraisal the appraisal has been ordered so if the funding type is financing i want this to show if it's not financing, I don't want this to show. So I'm able to create these things. So once I create one, so naturally you're just going to have your big email template with these broken up in there, but we're going to create smart blocks for them. So if I wanted something like this, I'd just copy that Control S or Command S, I believe, for uh, apples are um, is the shortcut, or you can go to the little hammer icon here, then hit Smart Blocks, and then um, your Smart Blocks will be here. So we'll add a Smart Block and call it, um, actually, which one was this? I'm not sure. I'm going to call this Test. So it opens up and I'm going to paste that verbiage here. I'm going to select all and I want to have the lettering be black. There you go. And also I want to make it so there is a break or a space between this paragraph and the next paragraph if this does apply. So I'm going to go over to the merge fields here hit utilities, new line, a break, and then I'm going to paste it here. So now if this does apply, it's gonna be added to that email template. It's gonna have a spacing and then it's going to show whatever's after that. This um, condition is going to be if the property field funding type is equal to financing. So now that we have this merge field set up, I'm sorry, this smart block set up, we can go back to our email template, so the lender, and we can hit this here, go to our smart blocks, Go down to, I called it test, and I copied that smart block, and I'm going to place it where I want it to land in the email template. So if I want that to be the first thing that happens, there's that. So a few things I wanna point out here is the way that the spacing happens within these email templates. So you'll notice that here, I've put all of these right 
back to back to each other. So there isn't any space between these merge fields, these smart blocks, and this here. This is right at the end of that. The reason being is because we included that break. This is allowing it, if it does apply, add a break. People mostly try to do this happens here, this happens here, this happens here, and this happens here. But if it doesn't apply, you're going to have this random break in between those things. So you're going to see the formatting. You're going to have some blank lines because you've said, I have these spaces here. So you'll want to put them back to back and add this BR because we only want the break if this applies. I'm going to go ahead and fix this. Now, if none of these apply, the next thing that's going to come up is after, uh, please copy me on all correspondence, is this. So if it's a cash deal, these will not show up. Well, I guess this is an email template to the lender, but you get the idea. So um, it's all about looking at your email template. So when I'm setting up for people, um, I look at, I'll read their email template from top to bottom, and I will say to myself, what information in this email template would only apply if a certain condition was met? Oh. If it was cash, this would apply. If it was the buyer, this would apply. Um, if there was a home warranty, this would apply. And I would copy and paste that text to a smart block to then say, if is there a home warranty is equal to yes, bring in this verbiage. So you'll, one is going to be pulling the verbiage out here, but the second step is adding those yes, no questions if you don't already have them in your fields. The setup that we usually get with open to close, it doesn't have yes or no questions that could make our lives easier for when it comes to smart blocks. So you'll just want to, oh, okay, how am I going to, let me see if I can give you another example here. Let me see if I have one for title. Oh, wait, that's the same one. I can do some buyer ones. So this is another one, requesting pre-approval. I don't want to get into smart block groups in this video, but okay, some verbiage here. So this is a smart block. In the intro, the verbiage for the Arizona buyer to the client if inspection period um, is not waived, right? So I have here, waived inspection period is equal to no. When this is true, put this, these, these few paragraphs into this email template. If it's not true, don't bring it into that email template. So, um, you know, attending the, the home inspection, negotiations, surviving the inspection period. If the inspection period is waived, I don't want any of that in that email template. So we're really able to control with smart blocks, we're able to control the things that go into our email templates. So by the time we put this into the transaction, we go to send this email, it's only showing the things that we need and nothing that we don't. So I hope that helped a little bit. Those were some pointers and notice here, just like I mentioned before, I have no spacing from those. And I have no spacing after this here either because I want this to show up immediately after this. And I've got my breaks in each and every one of my smart blocks. 
So um, yeah, I hope this helped uh, bring some clarity around smart blocks. I know this is a hot subject and really one of the huge things that save a lot of time within open to close. Um, so yeah, let me know, reach out if you want to do a one-on-one -on -one, um, and, and really start building out your email templates. I'm happy to help. Um, but yeah, this is the, the basics of kind of getting that smart block, those smart blocks kind of sprinkled into your email templates. All right, we will talk very soon.